This is the bag sort video for the second bag of the M row. And we have, I've already marked all of my blocks that are APP modified. And I have the bag and I have two four and a half inch squares left over from when I opened the bag originally. So I'm gonna set this uh, four and a half inch squares aside and I am gonna get my book out to M7. So, and then the next modified block is M7. So I will go to the booklet at that point and we can work from there. It's the size difference here than here. So we want to make sure that we're working with the right size diagram so that we can find the correct pieces. So as usual, I'm going to dump out my bag and as I sort pieces, I will pile them into similar shapes so that I find this easier to find them as I go through these blocks. And I will pull out these particular pieces. I've got footballs and arches and that kind of a thing. And M7 is this four and a half inch square. So I've got that to deal with. And this is going to be for here, but this is going to be for placement, I believe. You want to make sure that everything's placed properly. So this is a placeholder that will help with place your footballs because they're curved and all that stuff. But that's not going to end up being used for fabric. We're still going to label it. We don't have to worry about focus fabric and all that kind of thing. So let me start sorting through here and pulling out these pieces as I find them. I've got all of my pieces laid out for M7 and I was incorrect about the center. The center is going to be used. I was under the impression that there were pieces for this section and this section is blank. So no, it's not blank, it's just gonna be on the square because here, this is, so these are gonna be, your, these all these pieces are gonna be the focus fabric and the background is gonna be on this square and you applique the focus fabric onto the square. So we'll get into placement and all that stuff on a block assembly video, but in the meantime, I'm just gonna label these all M7. All my pieces are labeled and we're gonna mark all of the pieces that are up here for focus fabric. If you have a directional fabric, now's the time to mark it I don't know how you would like to lay it out. I decided that it needed to be in one direction, but you can get creative with it. So now I'm going to bag up my pieces in my sandwich baggie and move on to the next block. Next is M8. It is also a modified block, so we're going to work from the diagram in the booklet as well. We have some triangles, squares, rectangles, pointed pieces, Lots of stuff going on here. So some of these pieces I've already found in here. And I'm going to have to check the triangles for size. So I am going to get to doing that. So looking into these pieces with one 45 degree side, there seems to be some differences in sizes. So make sure that these are going to fit exactly. When you're working from the booklet, you're going to have pieces that fit exactly because this was made by paper pieces before they made the pieces themselves. They used this, di this diagram to cut the pieces. So they need to match exactly and they should match exactly. And if they don't, that means that this is for something else. So we've got three sizes of triangles here. We have the triangle that fits here, and I made sure that I matched it up to the side so that I know that it really does match. There's a triangle that's slightly bigger, but it's very slight. And then there's a triangle that's smaller. The triangle that's slightly bigger is gonna go in the center of this square. So you've got these size here and this size here and I'm really tempted to label these. Let's see what we're doing with focus fabric. Yeah, okay. 
So this is focus fabric and so is this. So I think I'm actually going to label these triangles because they're so close in size and by the time I get fabric on top of them, I'm not going to be able to put them exactly right next to each other. So I'm going to label one of these A and one of these B and then I'm going to make sure that I translate that notation here. So I will do that when I get to my labeling. But just know that the bigger ones are for the center and the middle size, and these are the small size, are the middle size are for the outside of the block. So I got all my pieces laid out and now I'm going to mark all of them M8. I got all my pieces marked and now I'm going to mark my focus fabrics and we have the squares are going to be background, so the cross pieces in the center are going to be focus fabric. And the arrow pieces are going to be background with the triangles focus fabric. And I need to leave a space to mark my notation. So those are back or those are focus fabric. These are focus fabric. This is focus fabric. And this is focus fabric. And then the triangles in the center of the border section are also focus fabric. So we have the rectangles, triangles. So we got three, rect or three triangles here, three triangles here, three triangles here, three triangles here, and that's all. So we have triangle A and triangle, I'm going to use my stiletto, triangle B. So all the B triangles are going to be the larger of the two and they're going to be the ones that are on the inside. And all the A triangles are going to be all the ones that are in the border. A, and I missed a bunch of B ones. So that way when I go to lay out my block, I don't accidentally make a mistake and put the wrong triangle in the wrong location because it would matter a lot. If this is too small here, it's going to make this completely different size. And if it doesn't match up here, then it's not going to look smooth. So it is a big deal if these triangles get switched. So the other thing I'm going to do, I'm going to wipe this clean and label these A, B, so I know what my notation means if it takes me a while to get to this block. Because you never know what life's going to bring. So once I do this, if you have a, a directional fabric, you should have marked it before you swiped it clean. But um, indicate that, and I will move on to the next block after bagging this one. Next block is M9. M9 is also a modified block, so we're going to go to the booklet again. And this is our block. We've got all these different angle pieces and some triangles in the center. I'm assuming the triangles in the center are the smaller of the three that we just sorted because I think that's all I got left. So I'm going to put these triangles in the middle. And then I got a pile of angled pieces that are thicker. And I will lay all these out. I got all of my pieces laid out, and so now I'm going to mark them M9. Got all of my pieces marked. Now it's time to indicate focus fabric. Starting from the center, pick a triangle and mark it as focus fabric, and then every other one is going to be focus fabric. Then the one above it is going to be background. The one above the background is going to be focus fabric. So then it's every other one. So it gives you this checkerboard effect with a 45 degree angle, which is kind of fun. And then same thing, if this is background, this is focus fabric. And then go around and mark those as well. So you should have four triangles in the center, four of these pieces in the middle, and four of these pieces on the outside layer. If you have directional fabric, now's the time to decide what you want to do with it. And I'm going to bag this up into 
a baggie, and we can move on to the next block. So I got my nine squares laid out on the book. I've got five more that are left. So I will set those aside for the rest of the blocks and I will label these M10. Next is labeling my focus fabric and it's going to be the diagonal pieces. So the five around the four corners in the center is what that is. If you have a directional fabric and want to indicate some direction, now's the time to do so. This is also a fun block to feature some fussy cutting, so have fun with it. I'm going to bag this one up and move on to the next one. M11 is the next block. It is a modified block, so we're going to work from the book. And we have This is going to have our last four and a half inch square to use that. And we have seven diamonds, and the papers are all the same size. I say that because the diamonds are not all the same size. So we have, here's the same diamond, okay? We have side diamonds that fit exactly, no problem there. And then we have center diamonds which if I just move it slightly so you can see, it's like a little bigger. See how the, now if I cover it completely, the edges go into the next diamond, which, okay. So let's, this is what I'm confused about. Because this is what you get. So here's my concern. If you have, let's look at the, let's look at the picture. You've got point to point here and point to point here. If there was any give, I could just work it in, but there's not. So what I think I'm going to do is one of two things, make new ones or cut these down. Knowing myself the way I do, this will drive me nuts. If I put this in the block and just kind of fudge it, I will not be happy with the results. So I am going to see what I can do about cutting these down. I'm going to need a ruler and some kind of a, either a rotary cutter or a straight blade cutter or something that is not scissors something that's not going to compress it because you need a clean edge here. So I'm going to cut them down. If that doesn't work, I can make new ones. So how do you go about cutting these down? Okay, I'm going to use the middle one because it's got clean points. And these are the four I'm not going to touch. I'm going to take the middle one and line it up on this edge when you have it it covers about half the line and then I need a flat surface so let's do this line it up on the edge I'm going to draw a line from the point at which the line hits the shape to the edge but I want to make sure that I'm straight against the side. So I'm going to draw a line here and then I'm going to draw a line on the other side. I'll put some glue on the back because it's a temporary thing and that will help me. Okay, so let's put that there. What I'm doing is, in this case, my ruler, I have an edge here, so I'm lining up this edge with the side of the piece of the side of the diamond, the piece rather than the line. And then I'm gonna just draw a line. So that's what I need to cut off. And I'm gonna do this with the other two as well. So I've got all of my pieces marked that I need to cut down. 
I use the exact same diamond all three times with the exact same marks so that I get it exactly the same. So now I'm going to cut off my edges. So these are the three diamonds that I sliced down. So now I need to make sure that they end up there because now they're slightly smaller and they fit exactly. So I want to make sure I labeled diamonds A and B or one and two or whatever you want to decide. So if I put these four back on my spots, now I can mark these for M11. Got them all labeled M11 and I'm now going to add the dot for focus fabric because they're all focus fabric. And then I'm going to distinguish between the two sizes. We have A and then A and B for the center. So I'll finish these notations up and bag these up and then we can get to the next block. M12 is the next block. It is not modified so we're going to work directly from the book. I've got five squares left. I'm going to take one away because they're all the same size and that would be for these and we need quite a few rectangles for this section. Of course they're all going to be the same. So 15 rectangles and three more squares. I will get those laid out. All my pieces are laid out and now I'm going to label them M12. Now that they're labeled it's time to indicate focus fabric from the set of three rectangles. The outer two of each group are going to be focus fabric and everything else is background. I will bag this up and get on to the last block of this bag. M13 is the last block of this bag and it is modified so we're going to go to the booklet one last time and work from here. It's been modified so it's going to be a little easier to paper piece. I've got a center square and then we've got these four shapes on the corners and then we have this kind of corner. So let me get these all in position. Now that the pieces are laid out, it's time to label them M13. Now that they're labeled, it's time to label the focus fabric. So the center square is going to be the focus fabric, as is the corner pieces. Everything else is background. I will bag this up. If you've got a directional fabric, go ahead and make your decisions on how that's going to go. And this ends the bag two bag sort video of row M.